Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to look at some more Japanese scammeronis. Uh, this is becoming even more of an issue than it has been in recent times. So there's more of it popping up. I'm talking about both the the fake cards, the fake, usually the waifu trainer cards in Japanese, usually in fake PSA graded slabs. I think those are the most dangerous of these, these counterfeits. You got to be very careful no matter where you're buying from. Um, but uh, there's a whole a whole influx of this going on. It's showing up. So we're going to cover some of that today just to spread awareness, but also because I want you guys to reach out if you run into anything, if you're shopping and you find any of this stuff, if you purchased any of this stuff, uh, even if the seller decided that they were going to refund you for it. I, I need you to send me any and all information. Uh, I, I have reason to believe that a lot of this is coming from the same spot or spots. Uh, so any information that you guys can help uh, out with is much appreciated. We also have a, a new, even more predatory uh, reseal scam. I'm working on, again, guys, we we had that box with the, the Scarlet and Violet base set that uh, I received a... a resealed copy at this point in time you should not be buying a sealed product on a yahoo japan uh you, you stick to the amazons stick to the reputable sellers uh if you need assistance with any of that stuff join the discord and and let me know again down below i'll have my buy e link where you can save 2000 yen off your first purchase but if you're not comfortable with doing that without assistance uh i suggest you you reach out on on the discord i, I have the tutorial video but also you got to be extra careful these days uh, both with the the great even the graded cards on there, you have to be absolutely certain. If you don't know for sure, if you're looking at a real card or a fake one, um, if the if the warning signs aren't there, please reach out. I'll have a link to this video that I'm showing on screen here down below. Uh, the previous video on this, uh, and we're going to go into more detail on more examples of what looks like very similar scams. So. Without further ado, uh, I guess first we'll just touch on the fact that we looked at this Lily last time. Uh, again, very fake. Uh, you can use the PSA cert verification lookup, uh, but you have to be knowing, you have to know what you're looking for in terms of differences. The cases are always going to be different. Uh, and you just, you have to be careful with this stuff, guys. More than ever, the more money, money just absolutely ruins people uh, and it, it makes them do absolutely terrible things. And this is a perfect example of that. Japan is thought to be the, the place of, uh, you know, a place of lacking crime. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of crime going on. We're seeing a lot of scams. We're seeing a lot of counterfeits. We're seeing a lot of um, the fraud. We're just straight up fraud. So uh, the Lily here, for example, uh, you got to know what you're looking at. You got to look the cert up. Um, but also we had a another uh, individual who purchased on eBay. Again, if you purchase from any of these people uh, and you have any information that you think could help lead to uh, their, their, I guess, removing them from the platforms that they're on, but also getting the authorities involved. Uh, still working on those contacts, trying to get uh, as many as I can on those Japanese platforms, uh, which is proving to be a little bit difficult, but we're, we're, we're making progress. Don't worry about it, guys. We'll, we're going to get to the bottom of it, uh, and uh, it'd be awesome if we could take down uh, all the... Not, maybe we can't get all of them, but a, a large chunk uh, of these, these criminals who are selling counterfeits uh, and or resealing things. So, first up, we had uh, Techno Logica, who joined the Discord. Techno, I still need you to reach back out to me. I need the information on this particular example. They purchased this Iono uh, from a Japanese seller on eBay, I believe. And uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it is a fake. That is a fake right there. Um, so, if you can't tell that this is a fake, uh, I have some other videos on this. But, uh, essentially, you should be using the PSA cert verification. Uh, in this case, it's it's deactivated because it is a known counterfeit. They're making counterfeits of this. Uh, but also, uh, you should be comparing it to the image. I really wish PSA would leave the image of the actual card on here uh, and tell you what you should be looking for. It's a perfect, perfect uh, opportunity for them to provide a little bit of a, like, hey, warning, this is what the fake looks like. This is the real one. Um... I mean, it, clearly, I think even the people that are trying to pass these off as the real thing are themselves. They, they know what's wrong with it. They know the differences. They've held they've held at least the counterfeit in their hands. Uh, the, the problem is that they're preying on people that don't know the difference and don't have the, uh, I guess, wherewithal or, or, or know how to to look up and, and to make sure that this isn't fake stuff. But as we've seen in the past with the fake graded uh, 
cards, usually you can see small differences in the label. If somebody is covering a label, they're either, if they're covering like a certain number, especially if they don't cover the barcode, uh, they're probably trying to do something scammeroni. Uh, unless they have multiple copies of like a, a 10 or something, something, something they have multiple copies that they're selling and they don't want you to think that you're getting any specific certain number. Uh, the barcode that scans scans as the exact number here. So you can get a barcode scanner uh, app on your phone. You can scan this similar to the fake first edition base case that had the wrong barcode on it. Uh, scammers are usually dumb. Sometimes they'll let you let you figure it out that way. But uh, also, you can take a look at centering uh, the corners in the PSA cases. The frostiness is never going to be exactly the same. Uh, the corners, if they're not sharp, it's because they took a mold of a PSA case um, and or they're just using their own mold. Uh, so you see here in the top corner, these should be very sharp edges uh, and they are not. So with terrible pictures, maybe you can't tell the difference with that. Um, but again, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you're looking at the same era of PSA case as well. Um, I, I haven't seen them. They, they aren't counterfeiting the other grading companies cases because I, I guess if you're gonna, if you're gonna counterfeit something, you gotta go for max dollarinos, right? You gotta, you gotta make sure it's a 10. Uh, you gotta make sure that, uh, that it is a desirable card. Uh, and maybe people that are just getting into buying the Japanese cards themselves are, uh, they're not necessarily familiar with what the real thing should look like. Um, regardless, um, centering the card itself, the shine on the card, yes, it can vary depending on what kind of light it's in, uh, but also the centering of the card, uh, if there's any defects on the cards themselves. Once you get them in person, uh, and we'll take a little look at this later, uh, but as I recommend, buy yourself like a 3 or $4 jeweler's loop. I'll put links to those down below in the description. Those are very important. Uh, if you're buying expensive cards, spend the $4 on a jeweler's loop. Uh, you can get them from eBay or Amazon. Maybe I'll put a link to both eBay and Amazon. Uh, jeweler's loops down there, examples of what you need. It, you don't need anything fancy. You, it doesn't need to have a telescopic light 69er uh, techno I, where, where, <laughs> dance party dance party feature. Um, but regardless, you guys got to be careful with the stuff. Also, the markings on the PSA cases, uh, the way the label is held in, the way that it goes into the, the grooves or doesn't go into the grooves, uh, the, uh, the, sometimes the text is a giveaway. But you have to be looking at absolutely everything. You have to be care comparing it to uh, the actual image. And again, if, if, you, if it's to the point that you don't see the difference, uh, then you join the Discord, post in the general chat, uh, and, uh, and we'll help you out. If I'm not in there to help you, I'm sure somebody will be. Uh, or I will get to it eventually. So here's some more pictures of the fake. Uh, if you can't tell this is fake and you've been purchasing cards like this, you got to be careful. Again, we're talking big dollar values when we got Gem Mint 10 uh, Japanese full air trainers. We're, we're talking we're talking scams. We're talking scams here, guys. Um, so again, like the, the little the, the little backwards 21, uh, the PSA logo, the, that all needs to, to line up with... Uh, with what actually should be on that era of slab. Again, whether it's like modern cards, it should be the most recent, if it's an Iono, uh, it should be the most recent PSA case that you should be comparing with. Um, and we do have a little side-by-side. -side. Unfortunately, the um, we don't have a, I don't know if I saved the, uh, I don't think I saved the image of the actual uh, one from the PSA certification verification. Uh, but I do have this side by side to give you guys a little bit of an idea of, of, of which one is which here. Uh, the fake one being on the right. Uh, and if you can't tell the difference between these, you need to do a little bit more research uh, and bef before you're buying anything nearly this expensive. You got to be careful with this, guys. It's, it's getting worse. It's only getting worse. Hopefully we can track down where they're coming from. Uh, I know that uh, the PSA doesn't take kindly to this stuff. They do have lawyers in Japan that can take care of the situation uh where where this is like not only is this counterfeit cards that the pokemon company uh should be looking after um and and cracking down on but also where they're faking the the graded case uh that gives psa a reason to uh to crack down on them as well so um again just be careful out there guys i know that uh there's a lot of people that have um that, that are sinking a lot of money into this stuff uh, especially on the, the current craziness that is the Japanese uh, end of things. And that's well, that's largely why we're seeing uh, so many bad actors in this case. So we got a post, post here on the old Twitter uh, where we have the, the 71 cert is a, is a genuine, the 67 is a fake. 
So we're seeing it on all kinds of mostly modern cards here. You can kind of see here the differences between how the label uh, is mounted within the case itself and the difference in the case itself. Usually the frosting is going to be going to be wrong on this stuff. So. All right, next. We got another one here. It's a little bit hard to tell with it uh, being moved around um, and uh, the, maybe the language, language barrier there. Uh, but regardless, again, this is another example where uh, you just got to compare the, the real thing to the, especially with the images. With the, the images and with the card in hand, uh, it should be very easy for you to, to tell the difference. Now... Where are we getting into here? We got the Luthamine. Uh, this is a, a new one. This is the actual uh, copy that is on the, the PSA website. Uh, it hasn't been removed yet, but this is another example of a PSA 10 full air trainer, this time from Sun and Moon, uh, that is being replicated and uh, counterfeited, uh, both in the case with the same cert number. Uh, so it's probably a matter of time before this gets removed from the PSA website. Again, I don't agree with the uh, their process on that. I think they should be uh, leaving this on here, the real thing on here, uh, and maybe even uh, posting that uh, that there is fake copies uh, that uh, and post post a picture of that. Watch out, look for look out for these. Uh, if they were mass produced, I would imagine that they probably are produced in some sort of numbers. So you're going to have to constantly be on a look at on the lookout for this stuff. But uh, here we have it. Uh, and I think this is, I have to believe that this is similar to the examples that we saw with the Iono um, and uh, and the Lily's full force back here. But, uh, but yeah, we have, uh, they are essentially the real backs. So you got to be careful here because if you look at the back of the card, it is the real back on a real card. Uh, this is another one of those examples, similar to like a first edition stamp or something like that. So you need to be both analyzing the, the front side of the card and the back side of the card um, in, in, in situations like this. Because the back side is not going to show any signs uh, of, of being a, a counterfeit. Uh, and here it is. Here's the sticker that they put on uh, this poor little horsey uh, turned into a leucamine. Uh, again, the fake PSA case, you can look for signs in the case, uh, but also even if you're finding this raw, you got to you gotta know what you're looking at. You got to know what that front side of that card should look like. Again, Google Images will usually give you, if you look up and find a real example, a high, defini high definition picture, uh, the textures on the fake cards um, are usually way off. So textures are a big thing, print quality, all of that kind of stuff on this sticker uh, is not going to match up with the the real card, the front side of it. I, you can't see the back side of it, uh, uh, regardless. So this one here, we got a Lusamine PSA 10 from Mercari. So again, Mercari or anywhere that allows just kind of any any Joe Schmo, your Yahoo Japan and stuff like that is essentially unusable for stuff like this at this point in time. Um, it, it's it's more like a anyone can sell kind of yard sale kind of situation on like the Yahoo Japan stuff. So you should not be buying seal product from there uh, until the, they find some way to fix this or or add some kind of buyer protection uh, similar to eBay. So it could be that eBay is, is, a, is a better option at this point for some of that stuff. Um, but also like your Amazon Japan and, and such. It's it's a real shame. Um, uh, with the single card market, uh, people trying to pick up, uh, especially like graded cards or, or anything like that, um, not not good. Uh, they bought it for 770,000 yen uh, or 7,700 Canadian dollars, a little bit less than that, maybe like 7,000 uh, American dollars. Um, they say, but it was obviously suspicious. So when I dissected it and, uh, I'm sad and I don't feel like doing anything. Pokemon 151 does not hit even one. I'm not sure, um, what they mean by that, but regardless, this is a, a huge dollar value. This is getting into some serious criminal activity. Uh, so again, I, I reach out to, uh, to this individual, uh, and anyone else that has been scammed by any of this stuff, even if you're not scammed by it, if you see someone posting it on, on various accounts on any websites, uh, that, uh, that you can, 
you can come across. Please send me any and all information, uh, and we're going to do our best to turn everything over to the authorities that are going to need that in order to crack down on on this nefarious activity. Um, I, this is this is some serious dollar value. Uh, if this is just one one individual uh, that's missing out on this much money. So here we have uh, a, another post here. We have, there are also fakes of this type. It's quite thick, so you can see it with a light from behind, like the uh, Nanjamo Pikachu in the image. Please note that the method for determining authenticity varies depending on the type of counterfeit. Um, so yeah, here's another example where clearly they put, uh, they put this Iono over top of a, uh, a regular, a real Pokemon card. Um, this time something of the grass variety. Uh, but uh, but yeah, this is this is some another test that you can kind of go through. Uh, you shouldn't need it because we can see right here that the PSA case is a fraudulent one, um, not only by the frosting but also by the the lack of sharp corners in the in the edge here. Again, the way that the cards are held, there's going to be slight changes uh, that you can tell. Um, but also just the, the card itself is uh, is also a giveaway. So in case you're buying any that are raw, you got to be checking for this stuff. Get yourself a flashlight. You can probably just use the one on your phone. Get get the jeweler's loop out. It's it's necessary at this point in time. If you're buying cards that are seven grand, you, you need to be extra careful. You need to be checking this stuff. You need to spend the $4 on a jeweler's loop. You need a little flashlight, or I guess in this case, just use your phone. You probably have a phone if you're spending seven grand on a... Uh, on a waifu, uh, but uh, but yeah, be careful out there, guys. The the more and more of this is going on, uh, it's just not it's not good. All right, we got Pokemon Deals who uh, who posted this bad boy, reposted this bad boy, um, and this is why I say that you need the jeweler's loop. This is the same thing with the counterfeit English stuff. Uh, the same thing with your first edition stamps that were faked by people like Arjun Dillon, those shit beggars uh, that can all go to hell. Uh, these, uh, these are, these are examples. So side-by-side -side examples, uh, you're going to have this like crispy clear, um, not only for the PSA label, uh, but also for the card itself. Uh, you can, you can basically compare side-by-side, -side, uh, and, and see if it is the real thing. Even if you don't have the exact same card or the same label, I guess in this case, it's good to have the same label, uh, so that you can zoom in and kind of tell like how the, uh, the actual dot matrix or, or rosette pattern is on your label and on your cards. Uh, again, it's going to be much easier to just spot the fake case than than anything of this kind. But hopefully, if you're spending that seven grand uh, on your favorite waifu, you also have some other graded cards laying around that you can compare with. Or even if you're if you're in the Discord, I'm sure somebody in there. Uh, I, I think I still have a couple graded cards here laying around. Um, one that was a gift and another one that was like an experiment sun bleached uh card um but uh but yeah to, you gotta look at all of this stuff guys it's a serious amount of money and you do not want to find out years from now uh that you that you ended up with a counterfeit you got to be careful and if you if you know anyone that's getting into the hobby that is just looking to dump a bunch of money on stuff like this you got to warn them to be careful as well. Tell them to watch videos. Tell them to, to put their time in and to learn what they're looking at, uh, the differences and stuff like that before they, they start pulling the trigger on expensive items, uh, especially when it's through methods like Yahoo Japan and Mercari and stuff like that. If you're buying from Japan, you had to be extra careful. I mean, you always had to be careful uh, that you didn't end up with counterfeits or the wrong item sent or anything like that. Uh, but now you had to be extra careful because the, the counterfeits are popping up uh, and the resealed boxes are everywhere at this point. So, um, I, I don't even know. I don't. I don't even think I can advise anyone to leave um, leave boxes sealed at this point in time, uh, which is kind of sad because what happens uh, if you get an example like this? We have another post by Pokemon Deals uh, where we have someone who um, this is the the new thing. So with the box that I had, I'll, I, I'm going to have a link to that video as well, or the, I guess it was a couple videos, the opening, uh, and then also the uh, kind of the start of that investigation. That investigation is still ongoing. Uh, so and once I have some updates on any of that, and again, it's a matter of making contacts uh, and getting the, the information over to the correct authorities to for them to take action. Uh, when it's in another country, it makes it a little bit more difficult, uh, but uh, I'm sure the uh, the prosecution will not be all that uh, kind by the, the uh, J Japanese authorities. All right, now, so the most recent resealed Japanese booster box scam. 
Um, not only are they taken, well, in, in my case, they were taking the, the big hits out of the box. Um, well, yeah, they're taking the big hits out of the box, replacing the packs. You can, the, the packs have serial numbers on them. Again, watch that video if you're not familiar with that, if you think maybe you got shafted on your box. But typically, Japanese booster boxes, there is one big hit in that box. And um, the people uh, were have been taking taking that big hit out replacing that pack with something else you should not be buying loose japanese booster packs they are very weighable they're very searchable it's a one per box thing even if somebody for some reason did not weigh them uh they could and they they could just open until they get that big hit and sell the rest of the packs so you got to buy it by the box but also now you got to be careful that you don't buy it by the box and your box has the big hit removed uh and or you have whatever this is I, I guess they're just filling it with paper at this point in time but we'll take a look at the video uh they got a case of boxes here which is that's gonna be a serious amount of money so it looks like it's just a stack of paper weighed out to be the same weight as the uh the packs in there I've seen before where they replace the packs with something that's packs that are less expensive uh but in this case in time um and again they got the new the new rip tab uh the japanese stuff they need marked wrap so that it's it's less uh, it's more obvious. It's easier uh, for people to tell if uh, if something fishy is going on here. So they put this pull tab on there in recent times to avoid tampering with the boxes. But it, it does pretty much nothing because you can pull the box out from the side. Uh, you can see in my video where you, you, they added glue. So they, they pulled the wings out from the side of the box. Never have to rip, and rip the strip uh, in order to get the packs out. Uh, and in this case, they're so greedy that they're actually just, they're not even sending packs at this point. So, a um, little, little bit of a bad situation here. We have, this is crazy. Japanese resellers aren't even pretending to try anymore. No Yu-Gi-Oh packs, nothing but empty boxes rewrapped in plastic. For those of you buying Japanese product, please be careful. Only buy from reputable sources and make sure you have backup plants. Yeah, it's a, it is an absolute disaster. I don't know if, like... The amount of reasons to not be opening Japanese at the moment, modern Japanese stuff at the moment, is I've, it's increasing. There's there's so many reasons. There's so many like my God, it's such it's such a disaster. If the price isn't bad enough, uh, then also just like the shady activity that's going on, and hopefully everyone that is doing this sort of thing uh, gets punished uh, to the largest extent that they can be. Uh, this is unacceptable. Um, you're stealing from people, essentially. And in this case, you're not just stealing the big hits that make the box worth more. You're, you're also just not sending them anything that they ordered. Like, this is this is some crook. Some serious crook stuff. Uh, here we have more footage. This has gone too far. Here's a Chinese streamer opening what she thought was a legit clay burst booster box, only to fall for the same empty box scam. Resellers are able to take seal box to the point where you have to open them to tell. Um, so the wrap, I don't think the wrap is, at least on mine, was not the correct um, the correct thickness. It wasn't the correct material. Uh, it didn't have like a nice stretch to it. It was like extra crinkle dinkle. Uh, so there's probably some of that you can tell. But even then, depending on where you're getting the boxes from, uh, it might be too late at that point. So again, I'd like to know uh, if anyone has additional info on uh, who's uh, doing this this little scam. It looks identical. We got the the paper the paper insert. The packs are completely gone um, with the uh, the clay burst stuff here. And again, clay burst was the uh, the very expensive one because it had the Iono in it. Uh, we have the same situation here. The old uh, live stream uh, and. Get the, the rip strip and they're doing the same thing where they pull the sides out i don't know how you you put security features on a box like this but you don't test the fact that you can still open it without ripping the strip like it, it blows my mind i don't know what the hell they're doing over there or why they thought this was like gonna prevent all, all of the the scams uh if anything maybe it made it worse because now people have this like false sense of security that there's a rip strip the rip strip isn't ripped so it's got to be good right and the clear plastic is just clear plastic uh so if you're not familiar if you don't know or see the difference between the the wrap itself and basically it it's without feeling it it's basically impossible to tell uh and even then it's pretty hard to tell without actually removing the wrap itself that how crunchy it is if if they use a different wrap i mean 
depending on the resealer, uh, they could be using a, a whole different, uh, whole different wrap in general. I think that's a good reason to, uh, I don't know why they haven't ever printed uh, like Pokeballs or anything like that on the wrap uh, as an extra precaution. Maybe they need the little, the little tamper, tamper stickers on the sides and the front of the box, anywhere that can be uh, opened up. But I, I don't, I don't get it guys. This is, this is out of control. Uh, but again, thank you everyone that's sending me information on this. Uh, please continue to do so. Please continue to reach out if you need assistance and uh, the resources, everything that you need to avoid this kind of thing. Uh, again, it will be down in the description. I'll try and put it all at the top uh, so it's easily accessible for anyone that wants to go through uh, to make sure that uh, they know what's going on here. All right. Take care of each other out there. Love you guys. Join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.